What up, fight fans? Main man, main man, back at you with another video. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. You know, sitting back from my vantage point, thinking about this Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. I just kind of peep as an observer. You know, it's funny how all the years, you know, Floyd Mayweather has had contention with Oscar De La Hoya and went in business for many, many years with Oscar and Golden Boy Promotions. And to see that the biggest financial fight in boxing history is upon us, we're less than two weeks away, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he cuts... Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions and put their asses on the sidelines. Made Oscar, just like me and you, ladies and gentlemen, a fan instead of the big bad promoter. You know what I mean? Now, we all know that Oscar and Floyd has had a very, very rocky relationship over the years, man. But it seems as if they've always been in some, some sort of almost competition on the low, too. Also, to me, you know what I mean? And uh, it seems as if now this particular this particular move. I think Floyd kind of checkmate Oscar and Golden Boy promotions in this particular thing. You know, you think about all the circumstances that happened, man. We can go through the timeline here. But, I mean, even as recent as with this fight when uh, Oscar tried to stick out his chest and take the May dates from uh, Mayweather, in which Mayweather has been fighting for these la on these last five years or so, uh, trying to take the May dates away from Mayweather, you know, just capitalize on the Mexican crowd and... Floyd pretty much roughed that shit off from Oscar De La Hoya, man. But that's just something, one of the more recent ones. But let's go back. 2007, man. You go back to when Floyd first left uh, um, uh, top-ranked promotions in Bob Abram. And he got, you know, he went on a contract when he went, he went on a fight-by-fight -fight basis with Golden Boy Promotions, signing with Richard Schaefer and Oscar De La Hoya. Now, this started in 2007 when Floyd fought Oscar De La Hoya, beat the shit out of Oscar De La Hoya, convincingly... In my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, beating Oscar De La Hoya, taking the A side away from him, taking the being the becoming the face of boxing, being stepping into the A side role. He was never B side after this particular fight, taking the A side from him, taking being the cash cow away from Oscar De La Hoya. So this fool Floyd Mayweather became dethroned Oscar De La Hoya. So humbled him. Now enters into a fight by fight basis with Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions, and but. Didn't lock himself in. That's what makes the thing so special. I said fight by fight basis. Didn't even lock himself in. What a hell of a move from Al Heyman at this particular point guiding Floyd Mayweather through this. Fight by fight basis. You know what I mean? Then he gets over there and he basically beats all of Golden Boy's top stars. So-called top stars. The, the, the up-and-comers that they had who they were marketing to try to be big, big stars in the boxing world. Canelo Alvarez still proving to be such. But, uh, you know, Floyd runs through the Golden Boy stable, beats a lot of Oscar stars, you know what I mean? Makes a lot of money with Oscar. Puts on, you know, and not to mention Oscar's made a lot of money off Floyd over the years, too. Don't get me wrong. Because he's also put, put the two biggest fights in financial history at this point on with under Golden Boy promotions with Floyd Mayweather. First one being Oscar and Floyd, second one being Canelo and Floyd. Now, the thing is, and these are one down under Oscar, uh, Golden Boy Promotions. Well, also co-promoted with Mayweather Promotions. But it wasn't quite a fit. It was real murky back then. But anyway, Floyd pretty much also did that too. Established his own promotional company in which he's co-promoting this particular fight with top rank, the Pacquiao and Floyd fight. Uh, established his company under Golden Boy and Oscar and them. So that, that was another thing. But also, he cleared out that stable. Um, turns around, uh, after what, roughly about... Last year, before the Madonna 2 fight, roughly before the September 3rd, 2014 fight, uh, no, no, this is happening right before, I'm sorry, right before the Canelo fight. Right after the Canelo fight, um, it seems as if Richard Schaefer and Oscar De La Hoya, I recall, started having little problems in which, uh, you know, Oscar discovered that a lot of the fighters wasn't pretty much locked into contracts with Golden Boy Promotions. And Rich, these all happened through Richard Schaefer. So Richard Schaefer and Oscar got into their legal thing in which Richard departed uh, Golden Boy Promotions, in which Floyd announced that after that fight, that he was departing Golden Boy Promotions, and he would not do business with Oscar again. So, uh, I believe after the McDonough two fight, now I believe that was that was the fight that Floyd pretty much that was it, that was it for between uh, Floyd and Golden Boy Promotions. And so this happened what a fight or so ago, and he cuts Oscar ass out of the picture. Now, now we got the biggest fucking fight in financial history going down and Oscar has nothing to do with it. He's on the sideline, man. You know, Canelo Alvarez tried to stick his chest out there 
and take the May dates from Floyd. It was funny, man. And, uh, you know, Floyd basically told him, put your money where your mouth is, man. I'm the biggest star. Humbled Canelo, young ass, and sunned his ass and still took the May dates, making Canelo settle for a Tuesday, taking his fight off a pay-per-view, might I add, missing out on a lot of revenue from that. And settling for a Tuesday, single de Mayo day. You know what I mean? So uh, that's another pretty much big move for Mayweather. Now, Mayweather does not no longer fight under Golden Boy promotions. Uh, I'm not saying he won't do business with Oscar because, you know, Floyd has fighters of his own. So I'm pretty sure maybe some of his fighters will maybe want to fight some of Oscar's fighters. Who knows? Maybe not. Uh, but as far as Floyd being a fighter, no, he's not cutting Oscar in on shit. And if there's a rematch to this Manny Pacquiao Floyd fight, that's an even bigger fight. And Oscar still will be on the freaking sidelines. You know, it was cool to see Bernard Hopkins come out with statements like, you know, even though this fight is not being promoted by Golden Boy Promotions, he's still happy to see this fight go down because he's a fan of the sport, you know. But Oscar, who has to, who's the CEO of Golden Boy, Boy Promotions, Gotta be looking at this like motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> motherfucker, you know. But he pretty much forced it. By challenging Floyd in the May dates, it pretty much forced Floyd to have to take the Pacquiao fight in order to top the Canelo Kirkland fight. So he pretty much forced this on himself in a way, you know what I mean? But Floyd checkmate him, I think, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section. Let me know. To the next video, it's your main man, made man. I see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, one thing, let me just say, man. I don't know if this has one thing to do with the other. It, you know, in hindsight now, which is always 2020, it seems to me that I see why this fight between Pacquiao and Mayweather may have taken so long. Because it seems to me, you know, Floyd was not going to let no one, no, no promotional company, no organization, not make him a side in this particular fight. Maybe they were not giving him the pure a side treatment. Al Heyman guided him through this process marvelously. Uh, you know, he was not going to let no one not make him a side, man. Not no top rank, not no golden boy, uh, not no 50 cent, not nobody. Nobody was not going to make, not no networks were not going to let Floyd bring home the bulk of the money. And maybe, you know, they didn't give him the proper respect through the negotiations. The whole drug testing shit was all bullshit just to not make the fight happen. And unless Floyd was going to be a side, he was not going to let this fight happen. Even with top ranking the news breaking out this week with Bob Abram and the whole signature on the, the contract thing, you know, if you see the, the original picture, uh, which uh, Pacquiao did put on his Twitter page, it clearly states that Bob Abram knew that these things were going to happen as far as uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, getting basically most of the promotional rights uh, of this particular fight. And now he's pretty much the a side he is the top guy and he maneuvered himself that's why he said there was a timing for this fight because this was the perfect timing to make him the top a side so i don't know maybe it was smart once we look at this in hindsight ladies and gentlemen history will judge this well so to the next video just your main man made man just as observance and i see y'all then don't forget to subscribe